winner of the FIFA Ballon d'Or, Brigonor, is Edson Arantes de Nascimento. You know him as Pelé. He's been called the world player of the century, the athlete of the century, and is often called by experts, critics, former and current players alike as the greatest soccer player that has ever lived. His scoring record is unmatched, having scored more than 1,200 goals over his long career. A few of those goals were scored in the World Cups he played for Brazil. This is a man who holds the distinct record of being the only player in history to have won the title three times. Ask anyone here, Brazilian or not, who is the planet's greatest symbol of soccer, and they'll likely tell you in four letters. The, the greatest is Pelé. 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 Pelé, it is an honor to have you with us. Okay, my friend, thank you very much for having me. I'm sorry my English, but I love to stay with you. Your English is fine. The World Cup is here, but leading up to it, there has been a lot of debate about how Brazil has spent money on it. Why do you think it's important to host the World Cup even when there is so much social disparity in Brazil? Uh, I think it's not for Brazil it's important to host the World Cup. This is the, the world where you know, sport and then is the big, big, uh, uh, say, big show in the life, uh, the World Cup then I think it's important for everyone. You say it is important for the country. On a personal level, as one of the greatest, if not the greatest player that has ever lived, why is it important to you to be witnessing a World Cup here at home? Yeah, to talk about the, the World Cup in Brazil, to me, I have some special emotion for that. I'm gonna tell quickly why. Everybody knows, because I did a lot of interview, my first World Cup, I was with my father, who was in Brazil in 50. At that time I was uh, eight years old, nine years old. And then we started to listen to the World Cup. And Brazil lost in 50 in Maracanã. And then I saw my father crying. I said, why are you crying? And he said, Brazil lost the World Cup. <laughs> That's what I remember in 50. The, now I think, uh, uh, Pray for God. Say, listen, I don't want my son see me cry because Brazil lost. <laughs> you got a lot of heat last year for saying Brazilians should worry about their national team and not necessarily the protests. Why did you think it was important to not focus on the protests? It's important for Brazil, of course, because Brazil is the country of football. Everybody knows that. But then to hold the one World Cup was very important. That is the reason that we ask to the government, to ask to the people in Brazil, to don't lose, don't lose this, this opportunity, because the best, the football in Brazil, is the, the best income to Brazil, is the best promotion to Brazil, the football. Then is the opportunity to take advantage on that. We have, we have a, two big you know, tournaments there, two big important tournaments, World Cup and Olympics yet, because we lost a little bit in the uh, Confederation Cup. I think it's time to recover now. That's uh, what we have to think. And speaking of what everyone has to think, it appears a lot of people think Neymar is the next Pele. Do you think that's so? <laughs> uh, Everybody asked to me you know, the same question all over the world. I was now in China, I was in Russia, I was in England, I was in uh, Chile, Paraguay, Uruguay. <laughs> all over the world they asked to me if Neymar is going to be a new Pelé. New Pelé is impossible. My mother and my father closed the machine. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he could be better than Pelé. 
you obviously will be cheering for Brazil. What will it mean for Brazil to win the World Cup? No, I think it's very important, of course, if Brazil win the World Cup, because, uh, you know, Brazil uh, live for the football. This is the heart of Brazil. If Brazil win, it's very good for, for the nation. But it's a very important to understand. If we lose, this is a part of the game. The life continues. We know you're short on time, so we wanted to thank you for taking a few minutes to chat with us here on America's Now. Okay, it was a pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much. And I wait you in Brazil with my heart open. Pele was 17 when he first became a World Cup champion. He was from Brazil's slums, and the story goes that he never actually owned a pair of shoes. He was 15 when he was recruited to play for a top soccer club, and in 1958 helped spur Brazil's national team to the World Cup.